There was no prayer. There was no in the name of God. No calling on God. He sits still in the place, says not a word, but wills the thing. And so is the miracle. Not a word. Listen, church. Christ still does great things. Yes. 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 And he does great miracles without any noise. But not a sound. I'll give you an example. Excuse me. Two years ago, my wife and I, we were going to go on vacation. We said, let's drive. Usually we fly at night. This year we said, let's drive. So we're going to go up through Oregon, Oregon on, the, on Highway 97. Popular road. It goes straight up Oregon, right to the Columbia River. And we've driven it numerous of times. So we get to Bend, Oregon, and we're going to spend the night. We check into the room. And we said, let's walk to this little place for dinner. And there's this gentleman. There's homeless around. And this gentleman's on the street corner playing a guitar. Of course, what do we think? Homeless. He's going to ask us for money. So he stops us. And he, and he says, you know, they just towed away my car. And so, that's my place to live. Yeah. I sleep in my car. I live out of my car. Of course, here it comes. I need some money. No. The guy says, I don't want any money. But if you could just pray for me. Amen. So my wife and I, we lay our hands on him, and we, we pray, and we pray. And then afterwards, the guy says, let me tell you something. He said, I am not near the age you think I am. I am much older than I look. And he says, and I'll tell you something else to the both of you. He said, you have an angel behind you. So we, we go to dinner and we come back and the guy's gone. So the next day we get up and leave. And pretty soon we ask ourselves, where are we at? We're lost. I don't know how we got off the 97. That is almost impossible to do. But she gets on her phone and we're headed towards Portland. And so she gets on the maps and she's like, well, we got to get back to the 97. So it takes us this, this circle to get back to the 97. But we went through some of the most beautiful mountain country. All through the mountains. It took us about an hour out of our way, which we had nowhere to go anyway, any time limit. But the most beautiful country. And when we got back on the 97, we looked at each other and said, that was the angel. He took us that way. And we avoided something that was going to be on the 97. Come on, come on. Something that was going to happen. Yeah. And we believed that. Mm -hmm. Jesus. And it was like, the guy told us we had an angel behind us. Amen. That's the way God works. Yes. Yes. He puts his angels around all of you guys every day. We take things for granted. Man. Oh, I lived another day. It's because of the angels. We don't know what God does every day in our lives. That's right. We don't have a clue. But he protects us. And he takes care of us. Yes. And he guides us sometimes. He takes us the, the route we're supposed to go. And even to us, sometimes 
doesn't seem logical. And we fight him. That's why I say sometimes you just got to get along and sometimes you just got to hear God's voice. Amen. Say, okay, God. It's not the way I would have gone. It's not the way I would do things. But your will, God. Yes. Your will be done. Amen. Amen.